viewers and welcome. This is the first of Atheism in Minutes, our little shows explaining some of the misconceptions that are out there and we need to address. Today I have with me Bill Flavel, AAI's Vice President. How the devil are you, Bill? I'm great, John. Thank you very much. And how are you? I'm fine too, thank you. So, the question we're going to deal with today is, what exactly is atheism? Okay, well, that's the most basic question of all. Um, we can break it down. Theism is a belief in God or gods. Uh, the prefix a means not or without. So, atheism means without a belief in God or gods. That's simple. But a lot of people misunderstand that. They say, if you don't believe in God, you must believe there is no God. But that is just not true. Here's the way to think about it. You meet a stranger who has a bag of coins. There are, there are two possibilities. Either he has an even number of coins in the bag, or there is an odd number. If he tells you there's an even number, that is just a claim. And without verifying that claim, you shouldn't believe it. But not believing his claim does not mean you automatically believe he has an odd number of coins. So not believing a claim is true does not mean you believe the claim is false. However, the, the fact I have no belief in God does not mean I believe God existing and God not existing are equal possibilities. I think the possibility of, that a God exists is extremely remote. But the reason I think that, maybe, John, we can talk about that on another show. Good idea. So, is atheism actually a belief, then? Not necessarily. For many atheists, probably most atheists, atheism is a lack of belief. But there are atheists who claim, who claim there are no gods. And we call these people hard atheists. They're atheists with the additional conviction that no gods exist. You sound more like an agnostic, Bill. Yeah, that's because I am an agnostic. Uh, theism and atheism are about beliefs, but Gnosticism and agnosticism are about knowledge. Gnostics claim to possess knowledge about God, but agnostics do not claim to have knowledge. So you can be a Gnostic atheist, which means you do not believe in a God and you do not claim to know there is a God. Simple. Thanks, Bill. I think We've so certainly thrashed that subject now. <laughs> More about this next time. Thank you for watching. Thanks, John.